Welcome back to another video of court forces round 916 div 3 and we gonna solve the third problem that is quest. So let's see what the problem states. So Monarch, our uh, very favorite friend of court forces is playing a computer game and uh, if uh, every computer game will have a character right and his only idea is you need to uh, level up his character and in that computer game like there are like many number of quests. So there are like n quest here which are numbered from 1 to n. So monocarp can complete quest according to the following rules. So suppose let's say that this is a quest and uh, this is also a quest. This is also a quest like that. Okay, like levels only. The first quest is always available for completion. He can complete this level. The ith quest is available for completion if all quests j less than i have been completed at least once. So after one he cannot jump to three. This three is uh, eligible, he can complete this quest only if he completes all the quest before him. So if he wants to play for three, one should be completed, two also should be completed. Then only he can play for three. Note that Monocarp can complete the same quest multiple times. If he, you say, if he has completed also, we can just, uh, his character can play that quest again and again. Now, uh, for the first time, if he plays and unlocks that quest, uh, he will get like AI points and Next time, again, if you want to play the same quest again, he will get BI points. So that's the overall idea. And Monocarp is a very busy person. As usual, he's very, very busy. So he has free time to complete no more than K quests. So that means uh, max limit is he have only K quest time. Quest can be many, but he can do only for K quest. Your task is to find, uh, calculate the maximum possible total experience Monocarp character can get if he can complete no more than k quest so that's it like uh, we have to find the maximum value that is possible so if we see the example it will be more clear here they told n value is 4 so 4 quest is there so 7 is the k value k value means he cannot complete more than 7 quest that's all so how do we write it 4 3 1 2 represents the first time he will be solving the quest, right? The points, the experience points of that. And B represents after solving the first time, uh, how many number of times he can play the quest again and again. That point is B for the first quest, second quest, third quest and fourth quest. Now, they are telling for seven, for the number K value as seven, how he can split it. One thing is I can play all the quest, right? I can play all the quest that is, uh, one thing I can do but if I play all the quest I have four only right four quests only I play but I have three more so what will I do I'll play the same quest again and again so in this case what happens ideally speaking like I'll play the all quests so four five six seven eight nine ten I got ten points then from out of seven quests I completed four three are remaining I'll play some quest again and again and again three times I'll play so I'll add 3. It will be 13. So let's see the answer. So answer should be 13. That's how we got. Now this is interesting. Let's say uh, three, quests, 3 quests are there and 2 is the k value. 1, 2, 5 is the first time he gets the, like, the score for it. And B represents if he wants to play again a level, he will get these values. Uh, how many number of combinations are possible here? He can do these two quests right he can play uh, first quest at the first attempt and second quest at the second attempt he will get the value of three or what he, he can do only two quests is possible he instead of doing this he can play this quest and since he completed this he can play that quest again so it will be three one plus three is what four so which is maximum possible four is the maximum possible experience right that's how he got as four so similarly, uh, this also everything will be same. So let's uh, see for this as well. And uh, but if if you see this answer, then it is like directly we are solving it only. It's like normal uh, brute force. So no harm in doing it. So what do we do? We just write three two four one four two three one four seven. What did I say? If I have five, what all combinations are possible? I can uh, take this quest. And if I take this quest three one time, three one time plus I can play the same quest again and again, right? Four times I can play this. So it will be four into two. So three plus eight is nine, 10, 11. Now, if I take, uh, okay, this is 11. And 
I can take these two values and these two values I can take. If I take these two values out of K, three values, three more quest I can play. So three more quest I can split among these numbers. So how do I split in order to make it maximize this? I'll take the highest number, right? Highest number. This number also I can take, but I'll take the highest number. So three plus two. Because of this, I unlocked the second quest. I can play this again and again. So out of five, two are already used. Then rest of the three case, I'm using this. So that is three into three. Five plus nine is how much? That is 14. Okay. Now I will unlock the three quest. So if I unlock the three quest, it will be three plus two plus four. How much? Uh, five, nine. Nine plus something. Now, if I used three from five, two are remaining. I can either choose either of them, two, three, one. But optimally, what will I choose? I'll choose this three, right? This three, two times. So three plus three. That is three into two plus six. How much is that? 15. Again, what is the next possible value? I'll chase all the four here. So three plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus out of these four, I can choose one value. So I'll take the maximum three. So it is 13 only. So then I'll take all the numbers five. So if I take all of this three, four, five, uh, six, uh, six plus four, 10, 14. So what is the maximum value got? We got as 15, right? When did we get 15? We chose three quest unlocking the first level and playing the second quest two times again. So that's how we got. But what did we notice here? We are taking out all the possibilities. We try to do it and we play the quest again. And if for second one also, we try to do it. And out of first and second, what is the maximum value? We are just doing it. So when I'm moving forward, how do I keep track of the maximum value? By prefix, right? Like uh, if two, out of two, three, which is maximum three. Out of two, three, one, which is maximum three. Similarly like that. So once I take uh, some number of elements here, the balance elements from K, I'll just multiply with the maximum value. If I reach here somehow, like quest can be seven or something, I uh, reach here somehow and uh, oh, this is four, right? So yeah, similarly, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 plus four is 14. That's what I got here. So same, like I can take the max value as this four and do it. So I hope you just got the idea, like sorry for any mistakes right there. Now, what do I do? Uh, how do I implement it is my next question. So implementation is very simple, right? So let's take this example only and try to trace out the solution. So what all things do I need? I can just say that. So uh, these are the two arrays. So I need to take the prefix sum of it. That is three, three plus two is five, uh, five plus four is nine, nine plus one is 10 and 14. Why am I doing it? Because I don't have to calculate, right? Keep calculating. I can just directly get the values or you don't have to store this also while calculating the answer. Also, you can take it's your wish. You can do anything now while moving, right? I need to keep track of the maximum number that is possible for repeatable elements. So two comes here. Maximum of this is three. Maximum of this is three. It becomes four here and four maximum of seven is this. Now, what do I do in the loop? I just kept K minus minus because we are using zero based indexing. So that's why uh, I go from zero to N whenever we reach uh, K value, right? If K value is less than N, right? I will directly break out of the loop. That's why we kept this. So sum of I plus K of I minus one. That means uh, if K value is five, I take one element from here and four elements from the repeatable value. So that's how we got like three plus K minus I. So K minus I here, we'll get like four or something. And uh, that is K minus minus already for zero based indexing. That's why. And two. So three plus eight, nine, 10, 11. So similarly, I increments. If I increment I, I get five. How do I get five? The sum of three and two and uh, plus K minus I into max of uh, max P of I. That means out of two and three, what is the maximum value? This is three, right? So two elements I already got from here. So three, five plus two elements are already gone. So five minus two is how much? It is three, right? Three times the maximum value. So if you just keep doing it, you will get the maximum value. So that's it guys. Like uh, here in this case, it is, uh, we got as uh, five plus three threes are nine. Nine plus five is how much? It is just uh, 14. So we'll get 15 in the next value. So uh, that's it like, so I hope it's clear. This is the submission link. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. So 
uh, keep watching stay tuned see you in the next video bye